Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to set up the type of your microphone in your HME Ion IQ Base 6100 base station. That's a drive-through intercom base station. So here's how we do it. Um, first thing you need to do obviously, you need to turn on the base station. So we are turning on the base station, we are patiently waiting for it to now, uh, boot up. Now this is assuming you have already installed everything, wired your microphone, your speaker and everything. And now is the time for you to pick what kind of microphone you have. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to menu. Go to more. Go to installer setup. Enter the installer password. So I'm going to pause the video to enter my password. Uh, if you don't know what your installer password is, you need to get it from the person who sold you the base station. Uh, now, although I'm not going to reveal my password, however, I will tell you how to enter the password. So let's say if my password is 2522, for example, this is how you enter it. You put, press this negative multiple times to go to 2 and then you put right arrow and then press the negative sign multiple times oh there you go to go to 5 and then 2522 is what I say it so that's what I'm going to enter 2 2 so this is how you enter 2522 if you make a mistake let's say if this went to one and you need to back up you go plus like that okay so now I'm going to enter my password and then I will click continue right now if I click continue it will tell me incorrect password invalid password it says try again so now I'm going to enter my correct password and I will pause the video okay so after you enter your password it will take you to the installer setup right here you want to configure the speaker post settings because you want to choose the right type of microphone so you go there and then you click on this same button again to go to microphone and here is where you choose the type of microphone you need you could have dm1 you could have dm2 dm3 dm4 sp2000a sp2500lp and other now the difference between these microphones are uh, the following some microphones are dynamic or magnetic microphone with a coil some are condenser microphones the ones that are dynamic microphone or they have a coil and a diaphragm and a magnet uh, they do not require a dc voltage to operate as a matter of fact when sound is uh, if, uh, applied to those mics they will generate a very very weak alternating current which will change to uh, sound waves later on in the amplifier inside the circuit uh, now uh, about uh, the uh, condenser microphone uh, it requires a DC uh, voltage to operate and that's why you have to choose the right mic you cannot choose the incorrect mic and expect it to work now this is your, your, your range or distance of the vehicle from the microphone or speaker post uh, the mic in the speaker must have some sort of a distance to uh, uh, prevent uh, audio feedback uh, when the customer is talking in the drive through lane. So there has, to, there, there has to be a few feet, uh, a foot or two feet distance between the mic pickup and the speaker. Now there are situations where the same speaker will act as mic and speaker, but that's a whole different story. We're not talking about that we're talking about the one that has independent mic and the speaker. Now, um, this is where you choose your distance. Now, the, the long, bigger numbers you choose, the more sensitive the microphone will be. So if you choose eight to 12 feet, when the vehicle is much closer, then you will have too much engine noise in the drive-through headset. So it's good to choose exact number, which is appropriate to the distance from the driver to the microphone. The driver of the vehicle, must speak loud if you choose a, a longer distance I mean a shorter distance when they are very far away for example if you choose four feet and the vehicle is actually 12 feet away then 
you are not going to be able to listen to them care very well. They have to speak loud. That's why it's important to choose the right distance and the correct microphone for your drive through setup. Once you have chosen this correct mic and the correct distance, now all you have to do is press the back button right here and again and you are all good to go. The unit is ready to operate. All right. So thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe.